<laughs> Someone probably arrives at every thrift store that I go in and they plant one of these on purpose. I know you think I'm making this up. Now, don't send me hate mail. I have nothing against iris and herringbone uh, glass. But for Pete's sake, every time somebody had a baby, they gave one of these away. I just don't know. Is it just my part of the country? Let's all let me know in the comments below. Do you find these as much as I do everywhere I go? What do they want? $3.99. No way. Okay. Bicentennial. Mm hmm. Anybody collect bicentennial stuff? I find it in every single thrift store. I'm not kidding. You know I'm not kidding. Look at this. And it has a lid? Are you serious? Hmm. With a cork in it. Really? Oh, somebody picked the thing back to try to see. How about that with a cork in the top of it? How about that? Okay, let me put that back in there. Uh, this is chrome. This is from the... 20s and 30s to serve bread. I like that. Look at this huge, huge underplate. Now there's no way I would ship that thing. It's only $10 and I know a whole bunch of you want it. But look, that finger span of mine is nine inches. So that is nine. What's nine plus nine? 18. This is like 19 inches across. EAPG. Mm. I don't know. I can't ship that thing. Watch out, everybody. This is a fake. It is made in China all day long, every day. It's supposed to be cream and green, uh, you know, enamel wear. But if you look closely, instead of the enamel being worn off, this is just black enamel that they put on here to make you think that it's wear. It is not, and I don't even have to peel that sticker back. I guarantee you underneath it says made in China. So it's not chipped at all. It's just black enamel to make it look like it's been worn off. It's a fake. Okay, here's a piece of depression glass. It's a divided dish. They want $5 for it. And... I don't have my cheater book with me. It's out in the car, but if my memory serves, that might be one of the Florentine patterns. There was a Florentine number one and a Florentine number two. I may buy this. $5 might be a little bit too much for that, but we'll put it in the dish and we'll think about it. I don't find a lot of yellow depression glass. I like it. I like it a lot. There's another piece of Elegant Depression. Oh, that's a pretty little etching on there. Can you guys see that? Uh, I do like that. And a pickle or a celery dish there. Some EPG. I think I got blurry on you. Oh, this piece here. This is uh, probably from the 50s. And I think that pattern is called harp. I don't remember, is that Jeanette? Did Jeanette do harp? It's hard for me to see it. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think this is my carton. No, nah, yeah. let me get you. Okay, boy, it's narrow in here, isn't it? I know. I know, let me back up. I'm, it's a I'm, pretty piece of It is, I'm shopping for someone. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm, I'm, I'm talking while I'm doing it. Yeah, no, that's can, pretty. Can you get out? Am I yeah, blocking you? Yeah. Okay, it is very narrow in here, that's for sure. That lady wants my depression glass. Did you hear that? <laughs> She's very nice. 
She was very nice. Okay, let's see. That I think is that Anchor Hawking stuff. Uh, that candy dish. I don't know why it's down in that. I guess they did made it that way. Uh, what was I doing? Yeah, the aisles here are very, very tight. You only get one cart through here. Uh, okay, let me... All right, this is why it pays to bend down and dig, and that's exactly what I did. And down here underneath all of this other stuff, I found another piece of depression glass. Now, it's a three-footed cake plate. Uh, I've had this before, I think, in green. And it is signed. Let's try to zoom in on it and see if we can see in the center. We'll do this together. Let me, let me see. Let me hit the zoom. Okay, there we go. I can't see it with my own eyeballs, but let's go right in the middle here and spin it around. I'm not sure if it's showing up for you uh, right there. So there is a mark in the center. Uh, it's hard for me to hold it still. Yeah, I just don't know. I think it might be, but we'll, we'll take a closer look out in the car. And then another cake plate that I don't find every single day in the thrift stores is this little three-footed pink guy here from the Depression era. This is the one that's signed in the middle. And then finally, the style of glass that I love to decorate with when we take all of the Christmas things down, and that is the Fenton Silver Crest. Uh, we're actually going to be heading into spring in a little while here, but... I'll go ahead and sell these. It's uh, milk glass with the clear silver crest on the top is what Fenton called it. Both of these are unmarked. And so we're, we're uh, around the time, I don't remember the dates on the silver crest, but I don't know, maybe it was like mid fifties to mid sixties, something like that. Um, so I have these two pieces here for the milk glass collectors, but also nice to decorate with this, as I said, during the winter season. Now, now let's go get a cup of coffee and we'll do some more shopping. Look at this little tiny one. Have you ever seen one so tiny? I have never seen one so... Five dollars. Boy. Mm -mm, I'm not paying five dollars for that. It's cute though. I've really never seen one that little. And we're back in the 30s and 40s. What would you put in there? You could get one lipstick down in there. It's cute. <clears throat> eh, $5. No. No, I don't want it. He wasn't talking to me. He was talking to somebody else. Uh, okay. I have to keep talking because the music is playing but no five dollars now look at all these remnants now some of you are going to want this calico cotton seven dollars for all these little quilting scraps i don't know enough about it patterns well there's a lot of this uh uh quilt fabric here but i don't know enough about that either you know I mean, I don't know what people pay for that kind of thing. Is this doll baby clothing? It is. How much is that? Four dollars. Is that old? That looks like something that's from the 60s. Oh, golly, Miss Molly. There's some old thread. Oh, gosh, I've been out of focus this whole time. Sorry about that. We're back in focus. Should I refilm that whole thing? What is this? I don't know what that is. Uh, all right, let me get over to the, oh, this looks like an old oil painting. Or is it something on cardboard? Wait a minute. Uh, no, it fooled me, it's on that card. No, it is an oil. That is an original oil, look at that. And that's a nice old frame too. Uh, what does it say? Andrea von Kiel in Helga Geschmitten von Maria Hof Schmeider Flickensee. I don't know what that says. My word, I don't know what came in this great big glass bottle, but 
if we look down deep inside, I see the Hazel Atlas mark. You know, they were one of the largest manufacturers of glass containers in this country. So, who knows? And of course, the Atlas of Hazel Atlas, those are all those old Atlas canning jars your great-grandmother had. Anyway, I don't know what came in this. It's missing a lid, but I like it because it's marked Hazel Atlas. <clears throat> And that does put it in a certain era. Uh, this looks like something from the 30s or the 40s. And I don't know. It's $2.50. Wouldn't that look neat? Filled up with jelly beans or candy corn or something like that. And we'll find a top for it. So into the cart it goes. And let's keep shopping. Doesn't matter how many times I see this. It always cracks me up. Ike with lipstick. You've got to love it. Mmm. Back on the front seat, I'm able to show you this beautiful cranberry and milk glass silver crest hand painted vase, completely unmarked on the bottom. Not embossed Fenton, but boy oh boy, isn't that Fenton? Yeah, that's a really pretty one. So you can study that for a minute probably lost its sticker either that or it was made before the early 70s when they were stamping at Fenton this probably is after that and had a sticker on it which is gone but I don't know that for sure um, I'm always looking out for you guys I've got to clean this up but it's a really pretty EAPG compote it's a pretty one and it's pressed not cut but there are some wheel designs i just scored two two not one but two purple amethyst blanco uh the classic water jug this is an original oil painting and it's really hard to read the handwriting on the back so we're it's either german or dutch or swedish or something uh kind of looks like mount vesuvius with its top blown off but obviously the city wouldn't be there so painted somewhere in europe and i can tell by the style of that picture frame that we're back in the 1930s you can also tell by the construction of the frame and the stretcher and all of that stuff so i'll take well i certainly don't need this but i have to show it to you Classic, classic style, popular in uh, the 40s. Yeah, just sort of like during and after the war. <clears throat> Bold, dark color to the back. And then uh, usually the fruit or the flowers is very uh, almost like just two-dimensional or uh, very flat looking. And uh, But great big frames like this. Very typical of the kind of prints that you would see uh, in living rooms in the 1940s. Here I am in another thrift store. Not in the mood to dig through a bunch of LPs, but I did look through the 78 RPMs and I took a couple of them home with me. I'll tell you about those later. This bugs me. Why do you break up a set like that and put these prices? I don't know why this particular store does it. Now, I'm not the manager, but if I were the manager, I would keep all of that blue willow together and put one price on it. I think they shoot themselves in the foot when they break it all up like that, uh, splitting up sets and charging so much money. Just put it all together. One price. Don't, don't split it up like that. But I'm not a manager. Oh, how many hours have I spent sitting in my car waiting for thrift stores to open? Well, I guess there could be worse habits, right? Oh, they just unlocked the doors. Let's go! Ooh, 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 look at these. Oh, I love these. Now, that's classic barware of the... Well, it's got to be the mm, mid-30s to the mid-40s. Okay, let's see if we can find a whole set of these. There's two little ones. Here, wait, how much are they? $1.50 each? Well, if I can get a set of the... Oh, 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 oh. oh, wait a minute. Okay, here's the problem. It's gonna be like 
Oh, there's not going to be enough of anything. Oh, I hate it when this happens. Mmm. Of course, I'm always on the lookout for nice pieces of early American pressed glass, which was enormously popular in this country from after the Civil War up until the early 1920s, and it really started to fade out fast when the colored glass uh, came into vogue. But a lot of the EAPG is chipped, as well as the American Brilliant. No. You know, there are some folks who want the glass in pristine, perfect condition. Other folks can forgive a small chip here and there. It's really just based upon personal opinion, I guess, and what you like to collect. I try to steer clear of damaged glass. But sometimes I'll pick a piece up 
even if it has a little bit of damage. Now that's pretty. I like the pattern on that. And you know, if you want a fun hobby, get yourself a uh, EAPG book. It'll probably have about 500 pages in it. And it's a fascinating thing to do and kind of rewarding. Go out, you can find this glass very inexpensively, in many cases, in thrift shops. And it's fun to come home and try to figure out the patterns. And there are hundreds and hundreds of pattern names. It's a lot of fun. Anyway, we're seeing lots of nice glass here. Um, heavily decorated. Again, most of this, which I'm finding, is pressed, factory-made glass. Doesn't contain lead. It's not fire-polished or has anything cut uh, on a wheel. But I'll tell you what, you get a table full of it. And, and candlelight, and it's beautiful. Very beautiful. Uh, let's see. I was hoping that was some kind of a Manhattan thing by Anchor Hawking, and it's not. I think it might have even been plastic. Uh, I don't remember if I found anything on the shelf. Uh, there's another piece of uh, um, the carnival glass. You know, once again, marigold. The most common color that you're going to find. There's not a whole lot of value in it. I've got so much of that. That particular piece I just decided to leave there and let someone else discover it. Now what does this say? Uh, well, maybe you can see it better than I can. Pretty flowers on there. Mm, didn't really want to buy those and then ship them. So, um, walked right by. I don't do a whole lot with mugs. I know there's some value in different types of mugs. I don't know how many of you do a lot of buying and selling of mugs. Here's another pretty one. This I've seen many times, and it's marked IG on the bottom, Imperial Glass. And they, read, they put some of this out again in the 1970s, and this is a newer piece a 70s piece, maybe even into the 80s, because it's it's got the embossed, uh, that embossed IG on the bottom. And uh, there was a big etched depression piece down there. What's that yellow thing? Wait a minute. Oh, there's a little cheese and cracker base without its... Uh, cheese top uh, and that other big pink thing wasn't depression and that star-shaped dish with the gold on it was not an old piece either okay sometimes I do you ever do the shelves in reverse you know you go down uh, one way and look in one direction and turn around and do another direction you see a whole different thing out of a different angle of your head and out of a different eyeball. I don't know. It's amazing. You can go down one aisle and completely miss something and turn around and go down the same aisle backwards. And you say, how did I miss that? I forget that pattern, but that's, oh, rats, I forget it. Doesn't it make you mad when you know patterns and you just have so many in your brain and you go, Ugh. is it, is it Waffle or Windsor? <laughs> right? There's a big snack thing there. I shouldn't say thing. It is a it is a piece of glass for serving snacks on. A lot of snacks. Uh, that. Look at that. Now that has the base of a Manhattan piece. You know, the Manhattan vases and tumblers have those little bubbles, beads all around the bottom. But it certainly wasn't the uh, Manhattan style. Maybe it was just another vase by Anchor Hawking. Some uh, coasters made of glass. And just two little random uh, pink depression plates. I didn't buy those. And it was just those two. And they had some dishwasher damage. Mm-hmm. 
I was uh, that thing with the elephants there. That that's not old, but uh, so that's not old. But that is now that's missing its lid. I love that. It has a real deco look to it. Let's turn it upside down. Why didn't I show you? Yeah, I would have bought that if I had the lid to go with it. But it's been uh, lost or broken. Oh, there's old Mildred by uh, St. Clemens. An old Mildred pattern. And a 1930s piece there with the, with the, with the gold encrusted edge. You could serve little dinner rolls or celery in that. Celery sticks. And I saw this old frame and get it right. What is, oh, the middle states. Well, that would be me. Let's see, we're gonna zoom in on it. We'll let you see. I think I'm going to, uh, there we go. There's uh, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York state up above, Ohio to the left. Delaware to the to the uh, and Maryland down below. Mm -hmm. See how close I am. I'm um, fifty minutes. I can be from my front step to the beach to the uh, chair uh, in the sand at the Jersey Shore. Ooh, that's nice. Fourteen ninety nine, but it's a pretty piece of glass. I didn't want to pay that much for it. It's pressed. It's nice. Well, that's missing its lid. Czechoslovakian, but everybody wait. I found, and you're gonna see in just a minute, another piece of furniture, 1930s furniture for the front, for the front porch. That's a nice cruet. Here comes a piece of furniture that you're gonna see in just a minute, and I threw it in the back of my truck, and it's on my porch right now. I'm gonna show you. And then we'll just wrap this thing up. Thanks for shopping with me today, everyone. I'm glad you came along and hope you had a good time. Now let's go to the front porch. Hey, there it is. <laughs> now, please ignore that. That's a 1930s rocking chair. That is not porch furniture. That's going to go somewhere else. But the green chair, the table, the lamp, this desk that I just bought, and I've got another green, I've got another wicker chair, all classic 1930s. Now the 30s style is different from the 20s, but this is a writing desk. You would see these on, on porches, in sunrooms. And this is, this is absolutely, sure as you're born, 100% original, 1930s. Now, um, I'm going to be doing something with the paint. All of these have been repainted several times, you know. I mean, obviously that's what happens, but the condition on it is excellent. You could not ask for one in any better condition unless it had its original paint, and that would just be too much. So here we have places for ma uh, magazines or books. Even the stationery drawer has its original wooden knobs. This is a solid top, probably oak. This thing is heavy. This is not your cheap junk that's made today, or some of it is junk that's made today, held together with staples. This is the real old thing, and I paid $20 for it. Let me back up so you have a better look. That's it. So I, piece by piece by piece, I'm putting together this porch, uh, all to sort of look as if it was in the 1930s. Once again, the ottoman doesn't go, this carpet doesn't go, that chair doesn't go, uh, and those cushions don't go. So all I'm doing is just throwing things out here. It's been way too cold really to do anything in terms of taking furniture out in the backyard and re reworking the paint. Uh, but it's... Uh, yep. Wow, that's great. I was so excited to get this writing table. It's going to be a fantastic place to sit and work this summer. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you everyone for watching. If you hung out until the very end, there wasn't a whole lot in the thrift stores today. And I didn't even really show you what I bought. I'm going to have to come back and do that again another day, maybe tomorrow or the next day. I'm thrilled with my porch desk. That made it all worth it. So thanks for watching. Wait for the cat.
So long for now.